Hi, my name is Jean by the name of JPH Production. JPH Productions here. If you're looking at my, I get Zion Rebo S, what I do with it, I just do it in my own setup. And also, Zion got his own, own little pad you can put together if you want to attach monitor, attach so many different things. I don't buy none of those things. I just use my brain and then to see, let me set up my Rebo S the way I feel comfortable. If you're looking at it right now, I got my lights here. I can even control my lights to be like a high, a uh, very high, and then I can drop it the aperture lower too. That's pretty good. And if you're looking at it right here, um, my monitor already come with that handle for the monitor to attach it on top of your camera. What I do, I just take it, I attach it to my Weibo S, and then use the end of it, attach my monitor. And right here, this neck right here, I just using my lapel microphone. That means I can even get a microphone on my subject on the person and follow the person still recording sound. Plus, at night times, you still got your lights on, and that's pretty good. Example, if you're looking at that lock here, it's a knob. You can find it in any hardware store. You attach it with your lights, that's all. I attach it under that. And then if you're looking at under this, it still gives me access for my hand to move around even I'm moving my camera in the position I want to, it's still nothing on, on my way at all. And if you're looking at it, you probably say there's a little weight on it. But yeah, there's a little weight. Reason why, let me turn the light off. Reason why there's a weight on it, and I want to have a weight on it. Reason why, when I take a small shot, I don't have to go to edit bay using work stabilizer, and then to make my shot very small and still stay on the work stable. I, I don't want to do that. Reason why, sometimes if the, your movement is too shaking you use a work stabilizer just doing something funny with the image when you're using a, a, the work stabilizer on your footage if the footage is very shaking but i don't like that i just want my easy the way boy is gonna give you a little weight on it but when you take those shots the shot will be like smooth stabilizer like i'm going outside right now to show you guys in the dark it's really dark outside right now i'm gonna show you guys and then still talking on the microphone to have a clear sound and still using my aperture light. Let's go outside, take a look. If the light is too much, what I do, I drop my aperture. I can see my aperture there if it's too much, like if you can see it too red. And that's good. The thing I love about this monitor, it lets you know if your aperture is too high and too low, and you can control it right here. And that's pretty good. Let me start recording and then show you guys what I just achieved. In the meantime, recording, I'm gonna talking on the microphone, we still I got a clear sound. Ready to record? Let's go and microphone check one two, check one two, microphone check one two, check one two. You see, and everything you're looking at right now, there's no lights down here. You see, only my lights right now doing the movement. And then I go back here, I'm going downstairs, taking a couple of nice, tidy shot. And those shot is only my Weibo S shot with the width then I got on it and then give me those kind of shot. That's it. I turn it back, but I'm going somewhere like very dark. But all those things you're looking at on the grass, everything, like now this is my backyard. If you guys see the previous video I did not do here with the ducks, you guys can see that. I do it right here. But everything is dark here, down here. And if I turn here, you remember when I showed you guys before my birds? But it's kind of cold. I put a, a, a heat lamp for my birds for them to heat up a little bit because at night time I have to use the lamp for them and cover the cage because it's too cold here. But if you're looking at down here, here we go. And I'm talking it's very dark here. Only thing I'm using, my aperture, my light, that's it. And then right here, sit down on my rainbow ass and everything cool. You know, I said, let me come in here and show you guys all those things that I'm doing with this. And it's so cool. And there's no light here where I'm at. Look at, dark like crazy. This is a cage here. Okay, and I'm going upstairs again. It's the same thing. Look at all those movement right here. And then turning, now I'm gonna back upstairs again. You know, there's no light at all. It's so dark. Only the aperture for my light. And then the rainbow has, let me put it up a little bit and then doing a little bit something like that. Example, the other light you're looking at, there's the light on my top of my camera. I said, let me go in up and then come in here. Takes those kind of shot. Come back here, put it down. That's all, look at that. Look at the flower, it looks so cool and smooth with the light. 
and nothing. All those small shots you're doing, the lights, everything set up. I said, let me show you guys my setup because I like the way I set up everything like that. If you're looking at it right here, and guess what? You still can see the whole backyard. Oh God, you still can see the whole yard, guys. The whole yard is <laughs> unbelievable. And I don't even give it a lot of light. And then, first of all, the lens that I put in there is 24 millimeter G Master. Okay, that's what I'm using right now. F1.4. That's what I'm using, but that light, that, that, that lens, already good on lights because you got a lot of lights to get on that lens. And if you're looking at my aperture or if you're looking at my lights right here, if you turn, well, my light very low. I don't even make it very big at all. And then looking at this yard, looking at, look at the pan over there. With that little light and that thing and everything small, man. Oh, it's, oh cool, it's so cool. And the thing I like about that lens, it focus on where you put it. That's, I program it like that. And then if you go in here, you think it's a little blurriness and everything on focus, man. In a second, you will see. Everything going to be right on focus. And that's good. That's a good lens. That's a good lens. If you really want to know about that lens too, and then I got a review I do about that lens, just check it right here. Only that little light, put on my Weibo S, and then connect and everything like that. It give me a great shot, and that's very cool. I say, let me show you guys my setup, that's all. That's all I got for today. If you're the first time for this channel, don't forget to subscribe, and also ring the bell, because I got stuff coming every day, and then you can just even come in straight to your contents, and then you know, you will see all things that I'm putting every week out there will be cool. Let's keep on making film, man. Have a good day. Bye.